Hey guys, with a uh, review here of the uh, Sailor Moon uh, Me 2 M8 Android smartphone. This is a uh, Chinese Android cell phone that was recently released, I believe, uh, June 14th of 2017. Announced way back in uh, May 12th of uh, 2017, I believe, if I, remember, if I remember right. The unique thing about this phone is, is uh, well, this particular model is that it's the uh, Sailor Moon Edition uh, phone of the M8 series, and this comes with a bunch of accessories. Here we can uh, see that in the menu, it kind of more or less resembles an iPhone with the uh, settings nicely separated. If we go here to general and then about phone, we could see that this is Android 6.0 Marshmallow on UI Skin Mi iOS 3.6. One of the things I've noticed about this phone is that the fingerprint sensor works uh, incredibly snappy. I'm scanning my uh, finger. Right now I'm capturing, capturing the edges of my thumb to make sure uh, it gets my whole thumb right in there. And once the fingerprint is registered, when you go to unlock the device, you put your passcode in or as I see here, I unlocked it with my thumb incredibly fast. I've had trouble in the past before with iPhones and Xperia devices uh, setting up my thumbprint and trying to get in, but here it's incredibly snappy, it just works. Regular dialer right here. If I dial some numbers, you can actually see uh, the names of some actual Chinese companies uh, come up. So I guess it has some sort of a uh, built-in directory or built-in um, catalog of uh, small companies that you can call straight from the phone. But other than that, it's just a normal Android dialer. We could see the um, the messaging app simply called messages. Um, the keyboard is actually very very responsive, very fast, and I like the emojis. How they look kind of like the iPhone emojis with the updated looks. It it just feels a little bit more uh, premium than the regular Android emojis you get. If you notice here, uh, here's uh, the YouTube app on the phone. Um, I actually downloaded that from the uh, Me Too store. Here's the pop-up saying um, we need Google Play services. And basically what that is, is if, if you ever rooted an Android phone or if you ever installed a custom ROM uh, on an Android phone, you would know that one of the few things you'd also need to install apart from the ROM is Google app and services, basically uh, the Play Store, the services, the login, the Gmail, all that. Right now I'm opening up the uh, web browser here, the stock web browser that came with the phone. Um, as you can see first, it came up with a bunch of uh, Chinese links and bookmarks and other useful information if you could say I lived in China, but unfortunately I live in the United States. The scaling and the smoothing is very very smooth on this phone, but then again that's also because it has a very very good spec sheet. Here, I'm loading up just another page. I'm loading up the web page for my store. Here, you see scrolling, incredibly smooth. No, no bumps, no pauses, no skips. It's, it's all incredibly smooth. And I know you may not see it in camera, but in person, you can definitely see this um, almost resembling the smoothness of an iPhone. And just just for comparison purposes, a small comparison, I downloaded the Chrome browser onto this phone. You could see that I'm uh, loading up back rumors again, uh, and scrolling is very, very smooth once again. It seems to load up more than more images than the than the, a stock browser that was built into the phone. But again, it's just a web browser. Uh, it does its job. Overall, the design of this phone is uh, again a little bit unique, and this this goes back to most uh, Me Too phones as well. 
And you can see how the little curve or, or, or edge at the bottom and the top. Looking at it, the phone is uh, pretty useful, pretty nice. Uh, the front camera in the middle definitely helps with the uh, selfies, and not to mention it also has a front facing flash for those selfies to enhance your beautiness with the uh, beautification app. That was a uh, small review of the uh, of the phone itself for the Sailor Moon Me 2 M8 Sailor Moon Edition. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on this video, and as always, thanks for watching my videos. Have a good one.